Welcome, folks, to King Arthur's World. There's very few Let's Plays this on the YouTube now, and the ones that are out there haven't been completed or haven't got a far at all. This one, I'm determined. This one, will, I will be completing till the end. I'm quite sure of that. This is my one of my favourite games in Super Nintendo. Love playing this when I was younger. I remember my parents got this second hand with a, with a football game. I wasn't there when he bought it. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yep. This is basically basic story is King Arthur's there's another quest for King Arthur's famous king. He went on many quests to restore peace to the world and do battle with Force of Evil. This is the story of one such quest. That's basically this. Hold on folks. Um, back, sorry I just wasn't sure if my control was plugged in or not, but it is now. Okay, first one, check the army settings, basically how many souls will follow you. These we can't, now archers, five I'm happy with, I'm going to keep, I'm basically going to keep them as default settings, don't really need it any more or less, what the default settings they've got fine, really. I'm happy. Right, let's start. First, we've got training levels. The this easy, will help introduce you to soldiers. King Arthur's search far and wide to find soldiers where he is first going to say. He needs soldiers capable of handling bow and arrow. King, King Arthur put through a simple test. Now, this one you can actually do quite easily without using any arts at all. But I'm going to use arts just to show off what they're like. What I like to do is position them like this. So they all fire in the same direction. And I'm going to use them to kill, fire long distance arrows. Kill those troops at the top there. And we start moving. King the goal is to get King Arthur to the end. If King Arthur dies, you've basically lost. No, it's a in the training levels. You get to try again. Yeah, at least the arch is a bit too late there. As a result, he one fell in there and died. You got limited amount of soldiers in each level. It depends on the phase from level to level. Now get rid of him because see those little things. On the walls there, they're parts of boiling oil. When they're standing up, right, anybody that goes near them will not come over and cause little bits of fire to fall down. Which is basically what. But because I killed them, no one will. They won't fall over now. You can shoot bells just to make it do like a little ringing noise, but that's, but it does nothing more than that. You've got freedom fire settings for the archers. Here you got like I'll show you like a short little range. You've got like a medium height. Yeah, one of the archers one. And then you got like a long high height, like that. Let's go so maybe I'll just go Yeah, let's move up a little bit. The science discovered that recently you can move up recently. I get King Arthur moved because in the train levels you've got to get into that little shiny little chest there. So I'm going to get your archers to try and kill off him, maybe on medium height. Sit. Archers can go back. If, they're off, if you bring the units off screen, they automatically go back to the tent. So those archers are now back in the tent. And because I've got King off to the chest, train, first train levels complete. Quite a few train levels. These are just basically tutorials just to get you into the game, get you to understand the units you'll control them. It's quite nice. The actual levels don't start yet. You've know, got battle men. Now these guys can basically just be plant battles of gunpowder down and basically they go boom. In this case, you'll need them to use these a blow from these wooden doors. I find archers very useful. I do. In certain, be careful because they do fire up flame bits. You also use battle men to destroy these little mechanical devices here. Which I'll be doing. And these little mechanical devices, when destroyed, will, will spawn like lots of little bits of gold. I'll explain more about gold in a minute. Just apply it under. It's quick years. Oh, there's yep, little gold coins. And that little ticking, ticking like noise means I picked it up. Key Alpha is very strong in combat, as you can see there. Well, they're, they're really wimps, they're basically wimps in melee combat. But King Arthur is very strong. He's got a lot of health. And he's, whereas archers and bowmen will, will die in one hit, King Arthur can take quite a beating. 
before he dies, but as if he dies, game over, basically. In train elves, it doesn't really matter much. If your key alpha dies, you just do a tra you just say you failed the test, try again. Basically, basically you failed the test, try again. Right. Do you get funny animation, the fact that the fire can hit th wooden things like ladders and that, and cause them to catch fire, it can hurt your soldiers there on them, I think. If you're watching this, I just I started recording this video right after I done my Castlevania for my last three Castlevania four videos. Uh, it's nice relaxing knowing the amount of utter fail I did on stage six boss. Be careful, so there's things along here. One hit from them will cause your bowman to basically blow himself up. Oof, that's close. So you want to be careful, and also also watch out for a pot of boiling oil. That, and then just apply it off now. It's going. To do that just getting back to his fence. Good, that blew open the door. Oh, that's <laughs> handy. think. This is also one of the few games. I forgot. This is also one of the few games that used the Nintendo Mouse, which we did have. So we had got it from Mario, with Mario Paint. I have tried using this with, with a Nintendo Mouse. I didn't. I much preferred using controller. It's just easy using a controller. Out for a pot of boiling oil, let them, let them knock it over, and there you go. That's the Bowman test done. You've got a little inch. So, I use Bowman for I use Bowman for other uses too, but I'll explain more about that later. I'm trying to try and go through this game without. I, I like to not feel any spoilers or anything like that, so. Right, now we've got Knights and Soldiers. There's two different units. Brave warriors volunteer joining King Arthur's quest. Test their fighting skills. King put them through some basic training. Right. We've got soldiers. We've got knights. We're these guys. We're basically like normal close combat people. They're, they're basically your main close combat troops. They're quite strong. And if you tap on the sword thing, you get a little boost of strength. Like that. Basic, your basic close combat troops like that. They're quite strong, they can take a little bit of beating. Now soldiers, well, these guys have got big shields. What you do is you get them to plant a shield like that and they'll block enemies from go they'll try and block enemies from going past them like that. They can't hold out forever, but they do a very good job of keeping enemies back. Seeing how the others See, so soldier's still there, despite holding them all. Let's go. Oh, there's one little soldier left. <laughs> go on, brave soldier. Go and kill those slingers. Ah. Oh. See, the soldiers aren't that great in close combat. Though. They're basically just used to block enemies from distance. Right. Send another group out. We can have up to three groups out at one time. I totally forgot where I started the video off and where to finish it. So after this little train session, I think I'll end it. Hopefully, this won't go in over YouTube time. Yet. That's why I started moving, King Arthur moving now. So it won't spawn for it. It'll spawn out of those doors there and out of a door near the end here, out of the castle. But they don't stay open forever. Oh, more come out. Yeah, more come out. I'm taking a bit of a risk sending King Arthur out like this, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. I think King Arthur can take a beat, then. Like that, he's just, he's just clubbed all that lot. Ooh, King Arthur hit my... Oh, look! Go, soldier! Go, knight, I mean. Killing all those. Is it... Protect King Arthur? Oh, that's it, King Arthur's made it. Okay! I think I'll end the video there, so I have no idea how much time I've got left. So I'm going to end the video here. We'll be right back for more Key Office Worlds.